the top six vitamins to stop your heavy periods. Menorrhagia is a condition where you're bleeding more heavily than you should be during your monthly period. Heavy menstrual bleeding may cause you to use more tampons and sanitary pads than you should be, it can trigger more painful cramps, and some women have bleeding that lasts longer than a week. So what's really happening here? As you can see in this image, the uterus is a pear-shaped organ in the female pelvis that sits just between the bladder and the rectum. Each month after you have your period of bleeding, your body starts building up the lining of your uterus, making it thicker and more enriched with blood vessels and cells to prepare you to become pregnant when an egg is released from your ovaries. If you don't get pregnant however, the lining of your uterus is then shed and it's released through the blood and out of the vagina during your period before your cycle starts all over again. The problem is that in many women, the lining of the uterus becomes a little too thick and it has more cells than are needed. This causes a heavier flow of blood and the period may last longer than 7 days, giving you painful and severe cramps in your stomach. You may also notice that you're passing large blood clots that are bigger than a quarter in size and your blood may be soaking through one or more tampons or sanitary pads in less than two hours, making it difficult to live normally and comfortably. Studies show that heavy periods are usually caused by having too much of a hormone called estrogen in the body and not enough progesterone. If left untreated, passing too much blood each month can lead to iron deficiency anemia, leaving you feeling very tired, pale skinned and short of breath, and eventually it can worsen into muscle weakness, more severe period pain, nerve damage and even infertility. In today's video, we're going to explore 6 vitamins that can be used to stop your heavy periods and restore the normal hormone balance. You'll also learn about some simple lifestyle changes that you can make to fix the root causes of the heavy periods. Bear in mind, I use the words vitamins broadly to include herbal remedies and nutritional supplements that you can use to normalise your menstrual cycle. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Number 1. Calcium D-glucarate is one of the most powerful supplements to reduce heavy periods and to balance out estrogen levels. When you have heavy periods, painful breasts or PMS, this indicates that your body usually has too much estrogen which is causing the swelling and a hormonal imbalance. Calcium D-glucarate helps to make your periods lighter by helping your liver to safely remove the excess hormones and the toxins from your body by preventing them from being reabsorbed in your gut. If you wish, you can start to take a daily supplement of 500mg of calcium D-glucarate twice per day to help normalise your periods. Or you can simply consume more natural glucaric acid by eating grapefruits, cherries, tomatoes, bean sprouts, kombucha tea and brussels sprouts. Number 2 is Vitamin D3. Over 1 billion people worldwide are deficient in Vitamin D. This is a hormone that your body makes when your skin is exposed to the sunlight. Not having enough Vitamin D can trigger a hormonal imbalance in women, where their bodies do not have enough progesterone and they have too much estrogen, causing the lining of the womb or uterus to get thicker, it can cause heavy periods, PMS, mood swings and a weakened immune system. To get more Vitamin D, you can try to spend at least 20 minutes a day exposing your skin to the sunlight and consume more oily fish like salmon, cod, anchovies, sardines and mackerel. Alternatively, if it's the winter time, you can take a daily supplement of 10,000 international units of Vitamin D3 along with 100 micrograms of Vitamin K2 in the form called MK7. These help to boost your Vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is also a natural painkiller that helps to ease period pain, cramps and painful breasts that often occurs during heavy menstrual cycles. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Coming back to number 3 which is also very powerful called DIM. 
There are all kinds of toxins in the environment that can trigger estrogen dominance, a situation where you have too much estrogen. For example, plastics are estrogenic, along with pesticides, alcohol, soy milk, chemicals in makeup, cleaning products, and it's even found in tap water. All of these can upset your normal hormone balance. This often causes heavy periods, fibroids, adenomyosis, ovarian cysts, fibrocystic breasts, and many other issues in the female body. Although it's impossible to avoid all of these toxins, the best way to overcome this problem is by helping your liver to clear out all of the excess estrogen. I recommend that you consider taking a daily supplement called DIM or Dindelial Methane at a dosage of 200 mg per day as this helps your liver to balance out your hormones and remove toxins from your body. Alternatively, you can get this naturally by eating cruciferous vegetables like broccoli sprouts, radishes, kale, brussels sprouts, arugula, cauliflower and all of the leafy greens. Now, let's talk about the importance of iodine in nutrient number 4. Iodine is an essential trace mineral that human bodies use to balance estrogen and also to support the thyroid gland. Unfortunately, many of our soils and our foods have now been depleted of iodine because of over-farming on the same soils and the use of pesticides, making many people deficient in iodine. Iodine is usually added to table salt to help prevent this problem. However, the type of iodine that is used in table salt is called iodide, which can help the thyroid, but it does not help to balance estrogen levels. For this reason, it's very important to boost your natural iodine intake if you have heavy periods by eating seafoods like sea kelp, nori, wakame, kombu, or you can simply take a daily supplement of dried sea kelp at 150 micrograms per day. This very tiny mineral works alongside all of the other nutrients that we've talked about today to help balance out your estrogen ratios, raise your progesterone and bring your periods back to a normal state of flow. And now let's talk about remedy number 5, cod liver oil. Another excellent way to reduce heavy periods is by naturally boosting your progesterone, the hormone that prevents the lining of your uterus from becoming too thick. Although some people choose to take this as a medication, it can have side effects. So a more natural approach is to consume more natural omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown in studies to raise progesterone in order to regulate your periods. The best natural sources of omega-3s are canned cod liver, wild salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring and shellfish. Or you can simply take 1 to 2 teaspoons of virgin cod liver oil. Icelandic is some of the best quality. And finally, we must talk a little bit about iron. As I previously mentioned, when you have a heavy period, your body loses more blood than normal because of the extra tissue in your uterus that has to be shed and flushed away. Most of the iron in your body is stored in the haemoglobin of your blood, so the excessive bleeding can unfortunately leave you iron deficient and anemic, and this can often make the periods even worse next month. To replenish your heme iron stores, make sure that you avoid the elemental iron tablets which are poorly absorbed, and choose a natural iron that's bound to a protein called heme iron. To do this, it's easy to simply eat beef liver once per week or a grass-fed beef steak two to three times per week to replenish your iron stores. There are also liver capsules available which contain desiccated beef liver which can help to replenish your iron and also vitamin B12 stores after a heavy flow. I'll put some links to all of these supplements in the video description so that you can do your own research, read some reviews and find out what may be best for your particular body. Later in the video, I'm also going to share with you 6 action steps that you can take to help stop your heavy periods permanently. But first, let's take a look at some deeper causes of why your periods are too heavy in the first place. The first and most common causes of heavy periods is eating too many dairy foods like milk, cheese and ice cream. This milk comes from cows which contains lots of natural growth hormones that interferes with your hormone balance. Another cause of heavy periods is sustained high levels of emotional stress. 
stress raises a hormone called cortisol which lowers progesterone making the walls of your uterus thicker. Birth control pills and hormone replacement therapies also contain synthetic hormones which will affect the normal balance, causing an interrupted or a heavier flow. Drinking too much alcohol can also cause heavier periods because it weakens the liver causing estrogen to build up in the body. Refined vegetable oils like margarine, cottonseed, corn, canola and rapeseed that are always used in the fast foods can damage the liver causing periods to become heavier. Soy foods and soy milk mimics estrogen in the body which interrupts the hormone balance and affects your cycle. Likewise, environmental estrogens can also affect your periods, like those found in tap water, soy foods, plastics, cleaning chemicals, pesticides and non-organic foods. And finally, fat cells also produce estrogen, so if you're particularly overweight, this can directly affect your monthly cycle. Now that you have a deeper understanding of the root causes of heavy periods, let's explore the 6 lifestyle changes you can make to balance out your hormones and normalize your periods. 1. Stop consuming foods which contain dairy for at least 2 months, including milk, cheese, cream, ice cream and yogurt, whilst taking a supplement that contains DIM and calcium deglucurate or CDG. This will give your liver a chance to clean out the environmental hormones that may be causing your heavier flow. 2. Start consuming a salad every single day containing organic cruciferous vegetables like radishes, broccoli, arugula, kale, collard greens, brussels sprouts, cabbage, etc. Also consider adding some pumpkin seeds, extra virgin olive oil, garlic and mung bean sprouts. These foods are all rich in phytosterols and other nutrients that help your liver to clean out the excess hormones, balance out estrogen and again bring your periods back to normal. 3. Eat seafood 2-3 to three times per week, including mussels, clams, cod, sea kelp, seaweed, shrimp, oysters, wild salmon and scallops. These will provide iodine and omega-3 fats that support estrogen and progesterone balance. 4. Speak with your doctor about coming off contraceptive pills and choose an alternative method of birth control. Interfering with your hormones using a pill comes at a price, including a long-term higher risk of cancer and irregular or heavy periods. 5. Cut out all of the inflammatory omega-6 vegetable oils like margarine, soy, canola, cottonseed or corn oils from your diet entirely and make sure that you're cooking your food with extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil instead. Make sure to also avoid all forms of unfermented soy. Beware it is hidden in protein bars and meal replacement shakes as soy protein isolates on the ingredients list, which can be very damaging to the liver and disruptive to female hormones. Organic tofu, miso, tempeh, natto and soy sauce are absolutely fine however as these have been fermented which removes the estrogenic properties. And finally 6. If you're stressed out frequently, find ways to manage your stress. Start taking some long solitary walks outside in nature for at least an hour per day with lots and lots of fresh air to bring in more oxygen into your bloodstream. Trees and plants also release essential oils into the air which reduce stress and cortisol to help reset the endocrine system for a normal hormone balance. Try to get a little more sleep and take life one step at a time instead of focusing on 15 tasks at once. If you'd like to learn more about balancing female hormones, go ahead and tap on this video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.